okay so today we'll discuss about the the resident hdb lcm resident hdb lcm right so what is this resident hdb lcm so what is the use case so normal resid normal hdb lcm we know we can use for we can use for installations upgrade right on installation so this purpose we will use for normal hdb lcm this will come this will come as part of the installation kit this will come as part of the as per as as part of the installation kit it means installation software right you no need to specially download it so resident hdb lcm resident resident means residents who is the residents so inside of the home they will stay right so inside of the resident hdb lcm so which means after the installation after the installation so after the installation the resident hdb lcm will come right after the installation only normally before the installation you won't get resident hdb lcm the what is the use case here the use case is like so for perform, performing the performing the the post installation activities like so rename system rename sld configuration registration of the component right registration of the registration of the components and unregistrations unregistration unregistration updates updating the components so etc we can do it using the resident hdb lcm right resident hdb lcm here resident hdb lcm here so right so what is the navigation for this one here where it is available slash ana shared then sid under that we have the hdb lcm folder the location of the resident hdb lcm here right so if you go to the slash hana then shared so then there is a sid suppose like hdb then so here you can see the hdb lcm folder is there this is called the resident hdb lcm this will come as part of the installation after the installation you will get here here just you can launch the execute the hdb lcm with root user make sure root user this is one of the guarantee question when we are going for hana interview they may ask you that this question right which user you need to execute root user what is the use case here can you tell me the use case so renaming the hana sid uninstallation of the hana unregister updating the components updating the host configure the sld check the installation add the host roles these all are the use cases here right so normally after the uninstall suppose like if you want to do the uninstallation suppose like then you can use it from here as well you don't need sap again digital software here again you don't need uh, you don't need anything here right so just select the select the thing here so what is the database you are going to uninstall it here then you can select the uninstallation of the database you can do that one right you can do the uninstallation here right so the procedure was cancelled by user now means i selected as a no so which means why because we have database as installed we have used the hdb now so uninstallation it's not possible it means we can uninstall it why again you need installation and uninstallation not required so like that so these are the use cases these are the use cases with the resident hdb lcm it's available in under slash hana shared so and sid here suppose if you want to configure the sld if you want to register the hana system into so sld land sld is the one of the landscape system you want to registration you want to configure the network layer so then if you want to check the installation we want to change the host roles and everything so if you want to unregister so if you want to update right 
So what you want to do? You want to update. So all those things we can perform, all those things we can perform using. So this resident HDB LCM, this resident HDB LCM here, right? Suppose example, you want to do the uninstallation of the, this one. So just go to the BZP. So just go to the CD. So it's not at all uninstalled first of all, right? So it's not perfectly installed. That's why you see the there is no much folders here. After the installation only, you will get all those things here. Suppose like BGD, right? Suppose like if you go to the BGD, the differences, you can see it here. Yes, this is installed. Then you can see the folder here, right? You can see the folder here, right? So it means it is got installed here. So you can see the folder. So if anything, if you want to uninstall it here, then you can use that. So HDB LCM or normal HDB LCM also, we can do the installation, but uh, so uninstallation, but installation we cannot perform. Well, because after installation only, you will get the resident HDB LCM, resident HDB LCM. So if you want to register, you want to rename or you want to do something, then we can use this one. We can use, oh my God, <clears throat> you can use this. So this, this one here, right? So that is the, so one thing for the, so uh, HDB LCM, okay? So that is the one thing here, resident HDB LCM, normal HDB LCM here, okay? So one more thing is here, so this will come as part of the installation, so normal HDB LCM will come as part of the installation. Resident HDB LCM will come, after the installation, the folder will be created. Which user or root user? What is the navigation? So then you need to tell the navigation as well. That is the one important thing here. Okay. That is the resident HDB LCM. One of the important point. Okay.